This is the second part of a two-part video titled, Why Do We Believe in God? Religion is a cultural universal. Humans in most every society practice some type of religion. So it's tempting to believe that religiosity is part of evolved human nature, that humans are evolutionary designed to be religious. Well, according to evolutionary psychologist Satoshi Kawazawa in his article in Psychology Today, the answer to this is both yes and no. In my last video, we used error management theory to explain intersexual mind reading, why men tend to over infer women's sexual interest in them. One of the greatest features of error management theory is that it can explain a wide variety of phenomena. It is truly a general theory. So let us imagine that you are one of our ancestors living on the African savanna some 100,000 years ago. Keep in mind, during those times, our ancestors spent a greater portion of their time on the other side of the dinner plate. Suddenly you hear rustling noises nearby at night. Or you are walking in the woods and some large object, like a fruit from a tree, hits you on the head. What is going on? Was this a threat from an animate object? Let us use error management theory to look at the four possibilities, starting with the top left box. In the first example, you infer that there is an animate threat. And yes, there is indeed an animate threat. You take the appropriate flee or fight action and get the heck out of there. In the second example, you infer that there is no threat, but the reality is that there is a threat. The cost of a false negative type 2 error is that you are dead, being killed by a predator or an enemy when you least expected them. This is a very costly error. In the third example, you infer that there is a threat, but in reality there is no threat. This is a false positive type 1 error. The consequence is that you live your life with needless paranoia but obviously it is better to be paranoid than dead. In the last example you inferred that there is no threat and in reality there is no threat. Therefore, therefore you pop open some cold ones with your buddies and you relax. So in this example of is there an animate threat the yes inferences has greater survival benefits than the no inferences. So evolution evolved minds which tend to over infer personal animate and intentional forces even when none exist this innate human tendency to be a bit paranoid is known as an animistic bias or an agency detector mechanism religiosity may be a direct byproduct of this Evolutionary origins of religious beliefs in the supernatural forces may have come from such innate cognitive biases to commit false positive errors rather than false negative errors, and thus over infer personal, intentional, and animate forces behind otherwise perfectly natural phenomena. So, in conclusion, and according to Dr. Kanazawa, humans did not evolve to be religious they evolved to be paranoid and humans are religious because they are paranoid.